from one house of isolation to another, hello. Um, with the 75th anniversary of BE Day being upon us, unfortunately all of the events that would have been scheduled to happen to celebrate this amazing occasion of course have been cancelled. So in uh, trusty social distancing styling goodness, I thought it would be a good time to show you quite a hopefully simple uh, tutorial for you long haired ladies or long haired men to embrace this very iconic style. But first, let's wind back and take a look at the history. The origin of the victory roll hairstyle is somewhat blurry, though there is an incredibly romantic theory that claims to shed light on this. During World War II, ladies were enrolled into the workforce and, after several hair-related machinery accidents, it became mandatory that hair must be pinned up whilst working. While the women were working in factories, the men were flying into battle. On completion of a mission, and as a sign of victory, fighter pilots would perform an aerobatic manoeuvre in the sky that would cause their exhaust smoke to make a rolling pattern, similarly to how you might see the red arrows when they perform today. It was this that inspired patriotic women to honour their returning soldiers by adopting the name for this pinned up hairstyle, which was seen widely across factory workers as well as everyday fashion and day to day life. Even Hollywood starlets such as Veronica Lake would appear on a big screens with victory rolls in their hair. In fact, as a push to promote this new working regulation within the factories, the government actually paid Veronica Lake to chop off her long hair and adopt the victory roll hairstyle, such was her influence at the time. The style could be adopted for both casual and formal occasions, and with its versatility it has remained a classic style even in today's fashion trends. The hairstyle serves as a historical reminder of the strength and determination shown by women during the 1940s. For this tutorial, you're going to need heat protection spray, some dry shampoo, hairspray, a hair wand, although hair straighteners will suffice, a heat protection glove, some sectioning clips, a pintail comb, or if you don't have one, a normal comb, a back combing brush or soft bristle brush, and some hair grips to match your hair colour. To start, you are going to lightly spray heat protection spray through the sides, back and top of the hair. Massage through with your fingers to make sure it's evenly distributed and then using your pintail comb, we're going to section the front off on one side of the head from the top of the head down to the middle of one ear. Section this off to the front with one of your clips and then do the same on the other side from the top of the head down to the middle of the ear. And again, section that off to the front with a clip as well. As you will see, this parting is on the side and that is because the style is going to be asymmetric. You can leave the back of the hair straight, although if you want to also create vintage waves, start by curling your bottom section around your wand in a clockwise direction. Do this across the whole of the bottom of the section and then when you get to your next middle section you're going to instead of going clockwise you're going to go anti-clockwise which will create the vintage wave appearance. Your next section is then going to go clockwise once again and your final section will be anti-clockwise. Here is the finished set of curls. You're now done with the back of the head, and now we can focus on the front. For the front section, instead of curling down, we are going to be wanting the curls to rotate up and over on top of the head to create the roll. With your sectioning clip, section off a one inch part from the bottom of the head. Don't forget to put on your trusty glove. and then wrap the hair up and over the wand up towards the top of the head instead of downwards. Hold for no longer than seven seconds and then release the curl. Take your next one inch section and do the same working methodically up the head. This section is now ready to roll up and over the head. 
Next we're going to take some dry shampoo and apply liberally through each section. This will form your anchor for your back combing so it helps to hold it in place once you're rolling. Take your pintail comb and at the top of the head take a one inch section, hold the hair up vertically and gently tease the hair back down towards the scalp. Continue down the head on one inch sections until you get to the bottom. I like to leave a little section out at the front that I don't back home that's easier to smooth as you come over. This is now ready to form your roll, but first we need to smooth the hair over to create a nice sleek appearance. Take your back combing brush or soft bristle brush and delicately tame those flyaways. You want to comb quite lightly so that you don't pull the back combing that you've just put into the hair out again. Make sure you keep brushing in the direction that the roll will go to help smooth it over. Use a light dusting of hairspray to help to hold those flyaways in position. Now for the fiddly part. It's time to create the roll. Hold the hair all together in one section and using one grip, place diagonally across this section against the scalp. This will help to create a hollow appearance when you are creating the roll. Get one more grip and crisscross it in the opposite direction to form your final anchor point. Now it's time to create the roll. Flip the hair up towards the top of the head and where your hair first meets your scalp, you can place your initial anchoring point grip. Slide it in to the head to secure your hair. This becomes quite fiddly as you've now essentially got to tuck those ends into the hair whilst keeping it hollow. In this particular head of hair I can get away with using just two grips but depending on the thickness of your own you may need more which is totally fine. Believe it or not that is your first roll done. It's nice and smooth on the outside whilst maintaining that hollow tube appearance on the inside. We're now going to do the same on the other side of the head. Curl, dry shampoo and then back comb. Two more grips will help to anchor this section in place. One from the front of the head and one coming in from the back, making sure that the grips are crisscrossed over in order to secure them in place. Next, we're going to do some more smoothing with your back comb or bristle brush, sweeping the hair over the top of the head and with a light dusting of hairspray to finish off that sheen, brush the hair up and over. This might get quite fiddly, as not only have you got to create this second roll, but you've got to do it without disturbing that first roll, which as you can see, even I find challenging here. Once you have that smooth shape that you're after, you can then secure it in place with your first hair grip. Now it's time to tuck in those ends. If you find it easier, you can use the end of your bristle brush to tuck them in and manipulate the shape into place. After a bit of tweaking, you should be able to find the shape that you're after and you can put those final grips into place. Place them in the inside of the roll to make sure that they aren't seen from the outside. And here we have your final VE day look. Two asymmetric victory rolls. For that extra 40s feel, you could always add a vintage headscarf. 